Hello ladies and gentlemen, Luke Gretzky here, and I'm just going to do a continuation of the uh, somewhat casual ramblings on <laughs> here. I'm on my way home from the grocery store, actually the, uh, the discount grocery store, and the hot springs and I wasn't really happy with the hot springs there are public hot springs and it's the only ones I've ever been to where I walk in there and it smells like a gosh darn swimming pool because of the chlorine and now for whatever reason I don't know I just ate a handful of cashews but my skin on my face is getting all red and tingly all of a sudden just as I start this video but anyway uh, to continue on with my thoughts uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some donate buttons in the description and those will be the uh, the altcoins and bitcoin uh, and the bitcoin and the altcoins that I'm interested in basically and then that way it'll give you you'll know what to research for one thing and then if you're so compelled to throw me a breadcrumb or two uh, that'd be awesome because basically, uh, as I was saying before, I don't need that much to live. And so I would do this somewhat full time and I would give, you know, if somebody had uh, uh, a category, an area, whatever, that they wanted some research done on, you know, I'd be more than happy to if it was something that also interested me uh, throughout a video on it. And you can look at my other videos. I've actually been on YouTube forever, and then I pretty much quit doing it there for a while, and that's a long story, probably, but, uh, oh, and there's Pike's Peak there in the back, and way in the background with the snow on the top, if you can see that on a larger, larger screen, probably, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's sure beautiful up here, <laughs> I mean, yeah, try to keep a thought while you're driving around in this flat and straight roads are one thing but uh, yeah I would I would you know I was considering doing it full time before and what happened was I guess I'll just go into that is is my business plan basically sucked I'll admit it as I as I enabled advertising on YouTube and they, they sent me an invite to be a partner, and so I, I accepted their invitation, and I, and I became a partner, and, and that enabled long videos, I think as long, about as long as I wanted, I think. Uh, anyway, they then were paying me advertising on some of them. And it was pro looking like that it wasn't even going to be long and I'd be making a decent, you know, in a hundred, a hundred or a few hundred a month. And it was actually some really good motivation to keep going because, it, you know, you can't just devote your life to something if you don't know how you're going to put food on the table. <laughs> I mean, just plain and simple. And so... Anyway, you can look into this, I guess, and get the details. It's all, I think it's still on there. So a lot of it got deleted, but YouTube censorship and all this, it's happened two or three different times, and I called YouTube on it, and, and it was just a bunch of idiots. Just, I didn't know what they were talking about, giving me this round around, and so I just gave up on it, and it was no big deal, but, but uh, or, well, it actually was a big deal, but that's just the way it is when you deal with a centralized big company and decentralization and this blockchain is going to change the world steam it i've got to figure out how to get back on there or make a new account i but in order to make a new account i need a new phone number so that's probably what i'm going to end up having to do is get a second phone line and and that way that's going to also i can have the internet connection off both phones and just leave one at home for my security cameras to be connected so that I can see what's going on actually when I'm not there instead of just having it recorded. But anyway, uh, uh, you know, I guess just get, getting a little bit uh, rambly personal there, but try to hold, hold it up for a good view. And so, yeah, that's the deal. 
uh, I don't know. I'm probably still going to do YouTube off and on and just more casual if I can't make a living doing it. Just make, you know, just, all I need really is a few hundred bucks a month to live. And so, and to live, it, I don't think it'll be that tough if I just have to take that drive to the discount grocery store and get discount foods and find cheap foods that, that are healthy and agree with me and whatever and all this and I think I'll probably do some videos on different ways of eating and food type allergies I mean I've done all kinds of different videos I don't even remember there's over a hundred of them but on smoking and, and different foods and health and water and and I'm kind of a I don't know what you call it a water snob slash uh organic food type person health nut and that works for me so I just keep doing it and uh, McDonald's and fast food worked for me for a while and it's been the toughest thing to get away from because that fast food boy that's something I really would not mind doing is is making somehow a fast food chain of healthy food like seriously good healthy all types of food including grass-fed uh, gluten-free organic uh, vegetarian vegan fruitarian i mean just any type of health food of any type that you can think of maybe or i don't know who knows just an idea but but uh, that's one of my ideas, is learning about how to fund something like that. Like any type of project, how do I get, I don't know, whatever, 10 grand, 5 grand, uh, 100 grand, a million, 100 million, whatever the amount is, it's not really necessarily relevant. Just whatever is needed to fund a X project. Uh, I, don't, I mean, there's so many of them. So if someone in the industry uh, is maybe not so good in front of a camera and wants to get together and is watching this video, like I noticed the Big Connect crew, they were really, they're really shy and they're getting better about it. Have really watched them. They were supposed to do a kind of a social type, uh, more update, like a blog thing. Because at first they didn't really, they were very poor on communication and then they actually got better and better as time went on. And I could tell they're, they're actually real people that are trying. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's probably some insider shady stuff going on or went on and don't know who the insiders are necessarily. Might not be connected with uh, the actual founders of the company or whatever however you want to word it. Uh, so yeah, something that's really interesting to me is getting into all that and then, uh, you know, ideas on how to how to build a business, basically a manufacturing business with a, a 3D printer. I mean, sheesh, you can just like anything you can think of, the sky's the limit. <laughs> So, anyways, yeah, it's just fun, exciting times for me. And even even though things didn't quite work out the way I was hoping, they worked out great. And I'm I'm still semi-retired. Met some great people from northern Minnesota that that are re, that are retired. A couple that was out here on vacation. And oh yeah, we had a great talk. It was it was it was cool because I'm from ten miles from Minnesota. And just a good old boy, good old retired guy, and and we told each other our stories, and it was just great. So uh, he actually uh, made paper for a living <laughs> until the company blew up when he was 52 years old, and he had to have one job his whole life, go make ten dollars an hour working for his neighbor for a while. <laughs> And uh, that, that must have been crazy. And he couldn't have been, that couldn't have been much, that, that couldn't have been, that, I, I'm thinking that might have been less than 10 years ago. But anyway, he's re fully retired now because 
that they had a power stench and, uh, and they, oh, I went over 10 minutes, we'll see how this uploads, try to make it less than 11, but anyway, sold their house and then had a little cabin up in the woods way up in northern Minnesota and put a little addition on it and they're just, just doing nothing, he said, and loving it. <laughs> Because they weren't really making any money, they were just just barely getting by, uh, and so they just they were able to retire and just barely get by. So they just did it, and that's what I did too. So it's great. And so anyway, there you go. Uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.